So this is how to replace a cell card inside of a solar edge inverter. What we're gonna do, making sure we're not touching anything else in the panel. This little board right here, or this little connector right here is what powers the communications board. We're gonna reach our hands around the back, pull up. There's a little clip on the back. That's what we're pushing down. Once that's removed, you'll see the board, all the lights go out. We're gonna go ahead and pull the board straight back. We do not wanna rock the board or do anything weird. We're gonna go ahead and take the antenna off. You do not need to replace the antenna when replacing cell cards. Usually the antenna is just fine. Once we've got it disconnected, we are going to reconnect it. All we're gonna do is just screw it right back in. This does not have to be, uh, or in fact, don't use a pair of pliers. Just snug it with your fingers, push the board straight back on, making sure we're getting all the pins in the holes and push straight back on, okay? This is not, you know, you don't have to smack it back on or anything. Once we've done that, sometimes this is two pins, sometimes it's the, the six pin like this, but it only has the two red and black wires coming out of the top. It'll sometimes be a little over here, sometimes in the middle, but usually right here. We're gonna push these two wires back, making sure we're not touching anything else in the panel. Just with the back of our finger, go ahead and slide that guy back in. You're gonna see three little green lights eventually come up here. There's usually a blue and a yellow light coming in on your LED board across the top, mattering on what's going on here. So that is how to replace a cell card.